solid, liquid, and gas. Wait for a second, I'm not done yet. The plasma, the fourth state of matter. Let's try to understand plasma by asking following three questions. First, what is plasma? Second, where can I see plasma in nature? And finally, why should I even care about it? Or how does plasma benefit human society? For this, let's start an experiment. I have a knife and an apple. I would like to cut it into pieces, step by step. I'll make it smaller and smaller, but after a certain point, I will reach a limit. Then I simply cannot cut it any further. What if instead of knife, I have a magical dragger? I will again start with an apple and then step by step make it smaller. This time, because of my magical dragger, I can even make smaller pieces than before. But again, I will hit another limit. My friend, this is the limit of fundamental building block of matter, known as atom. Well, what does this mean? This means everything is made of atoms. For example, this beautiful looking my university building is made of an atoms. Water pond, this pavement to walk, all made of atoms. Even this interesting looking guy in my mug is made of an atom. My favorite scientist, again made of an atom. That means you and me, we are all made of atoms. Wait a second, if we are all made of atoms, then why do we have so much variety in nature? The answer lies in the way the atoms arrange themselves. If they are regularly arranged like this, then they give solid state of matter. For example, ice cubes. What if I start heating the ice cubes, then the atoms inside solid start to jiggle and then they will break their regular arrangement but still loosely connected. This is known as liquid state. In our example, ice cube will melt into water. What if I increase the amount of heat I was giving? Then the atoms will jiggle more and roughly speaking they won't be attached to each other. They are free like bird. In our example, the liquid will turn into gaseous state. What if I increase the amount of heat again and by a lot? Then I should admit, our tiny little friend, the atom, is not that happy. From excessive input energy, it will break apart into electron and ion. This soup of broken atoms, which is electrons and ions, along with the unbroken atoms, is known as plasma, the fourth state of matter. Okay, now we know what a plasma is, but have we ever seen plasma in nature? And the answer is yes. The beautiful sunset which you enjoy is a plasma. Well, what I meant is sun is a plasma. Since we all know that sun is a star, that means every other stars are plasma. What about natural plasma inside planet Earth? Well, the lightning is a plasma and also the beautiful looking aurora is a plasma. It is said that 99% of the universe is made of plasma. Now comes the final question. Have we been able to use plasma to benefit human society? Or why should we care about plasma? Answer is for this. Well, I'm kidding here. More for what is behind me. This donut looking shape, which goes with a fancy name Tokomak, where scientists generate plasma or to keep it in poetic language, scientists try to mimic a small sun in planet Earth to harness the energy by nuclear fusion process. Nuclear fusion by plasma is a strong candidate to solve our energy problem in the future. Do you remember the movie Blade Runner? All these fancy lights in the background are neon lights and they are plasma. In order to simulate future in the movie, they took the help of plasma lights. They were not that far from the truth. Our future is very much dependent in plasma technologies. Beside neon lights, the common fluorescent lamp is a plasma. Not only that, the plasma has been nicely used to generate colors in plasma TV. We could not have gone this far in electronics if plasma was not adopted in its manufacturing process. 
plasma has been widely used in many fields like medicine, agriculture, space science and many more. I wish I could fit them all in this small video. The point to remember is, plasma technology is a cutting edge science. I know what you are thinking now, can we also play with plasma? It turns out to be true. Thank you for trekking with me in the landscape of plasma. I'll see you in the next trek.